What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Nintendo Land and today we have yet again some more information regarding the world of gaming. Because as of this morning we have gotten the word that E3 is cancelled this year and for obvious reasons uh, they're shutting down the convention and we're not having a live presentation or anything from companies at the E3 showing and it's kind of disappointing you know because E3 is a time where companies come together and they show off their great things even though sometimes we rather not prefer some of the uh, live presentations because they'll bring up some band and just have a lot of filler and just music and then just like show us the games <laughs> so this might be for the best who knows uh, but obviously this is a serious situation and it's meant to be taken very serious. Me, personally, my school at Ohio State University shut down um, until the 30th. So it's actually a real scary situation out there. Um, but with that said, we've got to look at what Nintendo is going to do about this. Because they have a lot of options. And now the whole roadmap from 2020 is probably going to look a lot different for the company. So for a while now, Nintendo has been pretty much digital with their Nintendo Directs. They don't really do any live information or anything like that, but they did for Breath of the Wild simply to showcase that game and that game only. But for a majority of the time, Nintendo does seem to have a Nintendo Direct sort of focus with their presentations at E3. It's just a collaboration of trailers and new games coming to the console. And this is something that's probably not going to change for Nintendo. I don't think they really need E3 or ever needed E3. Uh, simply, they could just upload another Nintendo Direct and just label it as a big presentation. Or they could have a similar presentation similar to what they did with the Nintendo Switch in early 2017. So Nintendo has a lot of options and they could always have something to do. Um, lots of it is going to be online for their company, so I doubt it'll be a live presentation. It might just be a big Nintendo Direct they can label it, but I'm sure it'll be labeled as something specific, something special uh, for the viewers to tune into. It probably won't be called E3 Direct. It'll probably be called something else, um, but we'll just have to wait and find out. But then the question is, where does this Nintendo Direct come into place? Because we know that we're kind of expecting one very soon, um, and does this backfire this Direct, or does this make the Direct come sooner? I have no clue, because there is kind of evidence for both. They could definitely get rid of this Direct and say, look, we're just going to spend our time working on a giant video presentation here uh, close to June, um, instead of having a Nintendo Direct in spring, and that could hurt. But it also seems like that could be plausible, because from the reports right now, it seems like this Direct is still being worked on. So they could very well say, oh, well, E3's canceled. This gives us a reason to push this Direct back and have one big one in the summer rather than two smaller ones. So I understand what's going on with that, but I think they're going to do the latter. I think what they're going to do here is they're pretty much going to take a smaller approach to this Direct. I think they're going to have a Nintendo Direct here very soon. I think they're going to push it up, uh, but I think it is still going to be kind of light on content, and I think people are going to find that kind of annoying because they waited, what, almost 200 days now since the last Direct. Um, but I do think this one's going to be a little bit light on content, so that way they can focus on a bigger uh, Nintendo Direct in the summer. Now, the E3 Convention Center did state that um, they could have a collective online media press type of thing where the whole show was online and they could collaborate with the different companies in order to get that to happen. But I'm almost feeling like Nintendo's going to kind of back out of this and say, we're just going to have our own video presentation and we're not going to worry about this. Um, I think they're going to control their own thing here. I think they're going to have their own event, their own special thing that's outside of E3. And I don't even know if it's going to be in June. They have the potential to actually make this earlier or push it back. And that's why I've kind of put this with a recent upcoming Nintendo Direct. They might just have their big presentation, you know, towards springtime. And I wouldn't be too upset with that. It gives us a loadout as to what we can expect for the rest of the year. And then we could potentially get another Nintendo Direct in like the fall time so there's a lot of things that Nintendo can do here and they put themselves in an awkward situation considering the fact that they haven't had a Direct yet and I think that's what makes this so hard do they you know sacrifice this little Direct for the bigger one in the summer or do they keep both and keep everything the same or do they get rid of this Direct and just have the one in the summer there's a lot of potential uh, options here and we just gotta see which one Nintendo chooses so this is definitely a scary situation. It seems like 2020 is just off to a terrible start. You know, gaming-wise, there's been nothing, really. <laughs> there's been nothing going on in the gaming community. And then, obviously, the world is just, like, falling apart underneath our feet. We don't know what's going on. It's, it's crazy. But we're getting through it. And, of course, like always, I'll be here to give you guys all the information you need. If you enjoy the video, feel free to like it and subscribe if you guys are new to stay up to date on all things Nintendo. Once again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And, like always, I'll see you in the next one. See you guys.